Hello, and this is Alekius. When we're back at episode 50 of Rule the Waves 2 German Brawlers. We come back. It is December 1948. We are closing in on the end of the game. We want to see at least one more war. We want to get our 16 and 14 inch battle cruisers involved in some sort of action. So we're going to get things moving right along. Disarmament conference. No. Yeah. Hard no. There goes all of our Corvettes finishing. It's another cruiser ticking along. Don't care about your silly cruisers or your silly fighters. Oh, that's disappointing. Proximity fuses. Five and six inch AA effectiveness improved. Good thing I've standardized on those things. And get a couple more cruisers going. Early surface to surface missile mounts. Not that I think that's implemented still. The last of the cruisers going. Yeah, not implement. Um, where was I? Uprising in China, send a strong force. Electric torpedo reloading system. Just what submarines need to be even more deadly. Submarines being the bane of our existence recently. Destroyers, for the most part, part of the Navy. Of course they are. Proved radar vectoring of CAP. Design a new ship. It will be a destroyer. What do I want this destroyer to look like? I want it to have 6 inch guns because I want the autoloaders. We will give it... Fore and aft turrets. We'll give it a single torpedo on the Q mount. Recommended to have 2600 tons. It's not a destroyer. Or the 6 inch guns. So, small reduction in rate of fire. Don't care, autoloaders more than make up for it. Get our torpedo reloads. Lose the light AA. We'll do two directors. Want maximum ASW. No reason to have aircraft. Do we want? Diesel. Diesel's expensive though, isn't it? Eh, it's not that expensive. Use that to get normal reliability. Up the ammunition. Max. Cramped accommodations. Why would you do that? Short range too. All right, we might have to go down to 33 knots then. And 13 medium AA guns. Hate to drop the speed to 32, but that's fine. 20 rounds per gun. Formidable gunboat, the Albatross. Why would you want to name your ship an albatross? The old expression, albatross around your neck. Sea Adler. I like that. These are expensive destroyers. 
No, I don't care. New bombers ready. Or are our sea adlers? We will build 24. Seeds what the minister wanted. But we'll use it as a combination ASW and other purposes. I'm going to halt all cruisers. And we will halt three of them, bringing us down to 21 currently building. New flying boats ready for evaluation. Four 2,000 pound bombs, good grief. We want range, speed is insignificant difference. We do want toughness too, though. Minimal change in range, we'll take that one. New proposals. We've got our flying boat. We have medium bomber. Already replaced the old one. We have the fighter. Already replaced the old one. Everything's already replaced. Get a new aircraft then. We want better fighters. We want we want a fighter bomber. Two 1,000 pound bombs are fighter, never mind. We want range. No, we want speed. Speed above all. And firepower. Get that designed. Send a strong squadron, please. Alright, there's a little bit more funding. Let's just finish this one out. Uh, Great Britain, we have a good, or, or not, add. Forgot we no longer have the security arrangement with them. We're doing, we just want to start a war at this point. Oh, now we have torpedo mounts being cheaper, or some lighter weight. Improved ASW torpedoes. Very good. Bolton Paul Dantrop. 7 and 8 inch auto loader. Like light cruisers, um, pretty crazy. Auto loaded four inch. Hooray! Yes, we can take out Russia easily. Increased cap. Russia's taking the lead. Let's go down below on everyone else. I don't want to start another multi-front war. We've had enough of those. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm going to tell them to get bent. I've been nice most of this game. I don't want um any more cuts in the navy. S band radar. A short wave, good for search and fire control. Yeah, Russia's going up. Russia and Great Britain's. Oh, geez, Russia and Great. All the things. Oh my God, how many requests are you guys going to have? I mean, I'll build the subs. But geez. Luckily, subs are not expensive to construct. Get 30. Russia and Great Britain. Don't want to do it, but it will be exciting. all of ours even though they all are 
already mobilized. Should irritate them some. Making more advancements. Maxim Gorky, 6 15 inch guns. Old class. Oh, we fought these before. Wow, that's old. New fighters, are they any good? Certainly faster. More firepower, more maneuverable in most cases. Lighter bomb load. So we could take the additional speed increases or sacrifice in bomb load. They are fighters, but we tend to go fighter heavy, especially considering our light carriers carry nothing but fighters. I think I'm going to say no. Let's instead try for a better dive bomber. Dive bomber where bomb load and maneuverability. Be like a dauntless dive bomber. See how that turns out. In addition, we have our new flying boat, which is so much better. And we will obsolete the old one. Hooray! Submarines building. that our forces in Northern Europe are new British fighter. Really, there's enough peace with Britain. Maybe we can break that security arrangement. Monopulse radar. All right. We have significant increase in balance. Finish out these cruisers. Quintuple mounts. And old guys. And old. Not sure what you want, mine Kaiser. Take the improved flying boat. Like we have the Alsace or Braunschweig in Mediterranean. We, we can't move it to Northern Europe. Most everything is in Northern Europe. How many ships does Russia have? Eh, I'm unconcerned. Yeah, we'll help Great Britain now. We have a history with them. We would like to break the alliance with Russia. Resume construction on our last two battle cruisers. We'll go international. Prevents them from taking Iceland, which would be very bad at this point. in Bermuda continues. Sure. Weight savings on the hull. Do we need to rebuild some of these? The better radar set? Or do they, they'll do that on their own. Yes. Tell us the rights. Yes, we'll buy it. 
Not that we have any 3 inch that I know of. It would be nice to have it. Commissioned our 30 submarines. Uh, yeah, everyone else can go bite me. Wow, that's really not much of an improvement. Better speed. Better range on this one. More firepower, more maneuverability, more toughness. We have improvements there. We may just take the improvements to the range. And it is the highest in speed, so yeah. That's a straight, straight line improvement. Now, torpedo bomber then? Don't need a bomb load for that. Most of what we need is toughness and speed. Get there, endure the hail of gunfire, and then uh, drop. Sure, yeah, we'll have a thing. Angled flight decks. Two years till we get our other two battle cruisers. Uh, which means they probably will not participate in the next conflict unless it really is. Unless the uh, UK Russia security arrangement sticks. No, I don't want to help someone else. Germany and Russia. Cruiser battle. Medium. Attack enemy ships in general. I have a couple light cruisers. Not my strongest designs. Go out in search of what appears to be carriers, really? You want me to take out carriers in this day and age with light cruisers? You're nuts. Light cruisers are a lot more dangerous than the oh, battleship, really? Not a battle cruiser, it's a heavy cruiser. Heavily armed. We don't stand a chance against those. Turn around, depart. They're faster than we are. Our best bet is to cut for Kohlberg and hope for the best. Actually, hope for aircraft. There's some more damage. Okay, they seem to be departing, leaving us alone. Try to cut around and see if we can find the enemy air carriers. Our friendly air seem to be doing uh, butcher's work out there. Shooting down tons of torpedo bombers. Sneak around the cruisers. What are these guys? We have a sighting. That's a light carrier. Alright, cut in rapidly. See what their escorts look like. Light cruisers. The Omsk has 16 6 inch guns. We'll chew our light cruisers to shreds, so we really can't do anything against those either. Alright, getting ready to bomb. A lot of our torpedo bombers getting shot down by LA-58s. Blue 47s shooting down the rest. It's a loss of aircraft to no, no gain. Twenty Heinchel torpedo bombers. Air 
Air base Riga bomb hit. All right, we hit their carriers. One of their carrier fleet with torpedoes. Don't know if it was an actual carrier or one of the escorts. We actually succeeded in uh, getting hits. That makes me happy. 20 Junkers or 12 Junkers using torpedo bombs against a battle cruiser. No success. We'll just go ahead and slink away. These light cruisers have no business being out here. What is next? Five Messerschmitts. That's not going to accomplish much. Five Arados. Dieslers. Dive bombing. Bunch of them getting shot down. I didn't see any results. And Night Falls. I know what I'm going to be spending some of our extra budget on. No significant results for anyone. There's a lot of aircraft shot down. All right, we are low on funds. Go to our bases. And we're going to go ahead and expand this one, and 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 this one. Get all those up and running. I don't think we have any invasion targets we can actually do. Might be able to do Finland, actually. Oh, yes, we can do Finland. But to do that, we'll have to re oh wow the navy is very big so we will cut that out we don't need it now for this task all corvettes trade protection the sea adlers are nice capable destroyers we will use them as such. The older ones we will set for trade protection. The Victoria Luises, trade protection. The Nymphs go to. Oh, actually, none of them do anything. The Bremens will set for trade protection. And the Goibin and the Schwabins, I think I will set. You know what? We could use every ship we can. Let's just take the two Schwabins. Set them to trade protection since they're a little bit slower. That gets them out of the combat. Our new ones will be 33 knots. Everyone else standardized to 30. Russia dominating, Great Britain joins, of course. All right, we got a lot of enemy merchants sunk. Small engagement. Russia declines, coastal raid. Great Britain accepts. It's a very old cruiser, though. No sightings thus far. 
long time until daytime. There we go. There's a contact. Quad max. Whopping 25 knots. Two targets. We got one hit. Bounced around, which that's good initial contact. Let's see if we can get the aft turrets engaged. Whoever they are, they have heavy guns. Alright, we have visual sight. Oh yeah, that's devastating for us. I don't think this will go well. Already taken 15 hits. We have not delivered very many hits. I think we will uh, head for Dakar. Face them to the side. Ah, two belt hits with heavy guns. Never mind. We'll retreat east. They will pursue. We have departed. Accelerate time. I'm not going to engage two of them with my one moderately damaged and ancient heavy cruiser. It might be worth building a new set of heavy cruisers. Take a long time, it'll be heavy. Try to minimize their size somewhat. Especially with the heavier autoloaders. I'll have to take a look at that. <clears throat> no contact, and we're able to return to the car. Daylight strikes. And we are far apart. Two heavy cruisers of the Sutledge class. 12 10 inch guns, good grief. That's something I would have made in yesteryear. Air groups. All right, I think I'm going to reconfigure our bases if you have first 20 slots or for fighters and fighters only. You can scout with them, you can bomb with them. More, most importantly, you can defend with them. So I'm gonna disband all of these others, especially now that we're at war with Great Britain as well. Speaking of which, before I forget, I pan. Change fighter. Disband. 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 Change fighter. Disband. Disband. Band change to 20 fighters. Wanna pay? Band. Disband. Disband. Fighters. Thunder. Okay. I'm fine with that. Same with all of these. Berg, Sing Tao. Band. Band. Disband 20 fighters. And then all this stuff. Fighter, fighter, fighters, fighters, fighters. Oh, there's torpedo bombers. On this. We don't want that. One thing you need are fighters.
have a little bit more money now. We will wait to build up some reserve money. Tempted to go to uh, the all raiding fleet that we did in uh, previous battles. I think I'm going to wait. Certainly don't need an invasion target. We're not going to be able to invade anything for a while. Lots of British targets out there. You know what? We will design an AMC. We want it to be extreme range. Engine priority reliable, diesels are actually the cheapest, I guess because they're so small. Submerged torpedoes, not sure that's wise. Can we put seaplanes on AMCs? That, that would certainly make them kind of dangerous. I'm not using a central line torpedo mount. But, use the aft wings, which that works. Actually, carry a couple of aircraft. Then we can put a couple of... We really need torpedoes. I don't think so. Lose the light guns. Six inch is fine. We'll do increased elevation. Full purpose is pretty expensive. So, so are auto loaders. We're not going to do that. Leave them with six inch guns, a couple of float planes, maybe more than a couple. How fast can we make these? Oh, wow. 21. Twenty one. No armor, diesel engines. Can we give them torpedo protection? Oh, wow, wow, how about that? Seems a bit excessive considering, though. Oh, a few float planes. And since we can, add a couple of torpedo mounts, extra reloads, plenty of mines, drop the AA protection, keep the one AA director. It will increase their ammo and add a couple more aircraft. They'll have six float planes, torpedoes, six guns, Boppen von Hamburgs. They're expensive. Trying to decide how expensive I'm willing to let them be. Because they build pretty quick. Temporary. I'm going to spend a lot of money on these if we start building tons of these. Armament is what costs most of the money. Do we really need the torpedoes? Use the torpedo tubes. Do 
who just triples, saves a bit of weight, or money. And aircraft are cheaper. In fact, I kind of like that. Get rid of the torpedoes all together. And we'll do float planes. The whole point of the ship is to launch float planes, far flung areas, and bomb enemy ships, and then close and finish them off with guns if needed. And do it at a reasonably reasonable speed. Brings are under 6 million. And then AV. No. Rats. So we'll lose the flow planes. Can we do it with three? What six? Six is an AV. Four is not. It is five. Yes. Four is the limit. That does make her even cheaper, though. Okay, and actually, let's go ahead and do a submerged torpedo mount. Add the torpedo reloads, or we can not do that and have 5.3 million. Or 5.6. We'll do it. We'll be kind of a not very hidden Q ship. Except I won't be using it on trade protection. I mean, I suppose I could. Get four of those building. And with that, and the last couple of episodes being a little bit long, I will end it here. Thank you for staying till the end. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.